Have you ever felt a deep longing within your soul? A yearning for something greater, something beyond yourself? In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it's easy to forget that there's something extraordinary dwelling within each of us. God's grace is completely found in Jesus. You can't receive it through religious practices or rituals or by just following rules. But how do we unlock this potential? How do we tap into the power that lies dormant within us? It starts with self-reflection. Take a moment to see yourself truly. Recognize your strengths, your passions, and your purpose. And then, embrace your imperfections. For it is through our weaknesses that God's grace shines the brightest. 2 Corinthians 12.9 God said to Paul, my grace is sufficient for you, as my strength shows best in your weakness. So, I will happily talk more about my weaknesses, so Christ's power can work through me. Watch this inspiring video. It's a journey to discover the incredible power of God inside you. This video will open your eyes and help you feel a stronger bond with Jesus Christ. Open your heart to the endless possibilities that await you. Believe that you are deserving of God's grace and love. In moments of struggle or doubt, remember that you are never alone. God's presence is always within you, guiding you and supporting you. No matter what mistakes you make, God's love for you doesn't change. The Bible teaches us that God's love isn't about what we do or who we are. It's about who He is and what He has done. God created you and loves you. That's a fact. You can't do anything to increase or decrease His love. He loves you equally on your good and bad days. His love doesn't depend on how well you perform. Trust in the journey. It may not always be easy, but with God's grace, anything is possible. So, let go of your fears and step into your full potential. Allow the incredible grace of God to flow through you, illuminating the path ahead. No matter what mistakes we've made, mean things we've said, or wrongs we've done to others, once we decide to truly change for the better, God's love forgives us we're then slowly lifted to be our best selves. God's love is a gift we don't have to earn, but we need to be open to it. This means we have to work with it faithfully to see change. We need to act to improve our lives and accept some things and people as they are. It's a careful balance, but God's love is always there to help us. God is always ready to talk to you. He's never too busy Whenever you ask for forgiveness, He is there to welcome you. Remember, you are a vessel of God's grace. Let it shine through you in all that you do. God isn't surprised by our mistakes. He knows we'll fail sometimes because He made us and understands we're not perfect. Ephesians 2, 8-9, we are saved because of grace. The only way to get to heaven is through grace, which we can't earn work for or by Isaiah 43 25 we are forgiven because of grace even when we don't deserve it God erases our mistakes with his grace if you've ever felt lost and didn't know how to escape your struggles but then somehow by the grace of God you manage to overcome them and see happier times Imagine that you are standing at the edge of a vast ocean, feeling the gentle breeze and witnessing the endless horizon. This vastness, this beauty, this extraordinary feeling is much like discovering the boundless grace of God within you. Often, we search for miracles and wonders in the world around us, forgetting that the most remarkable miracle exists within us. Today, let's embark on a journey, a journey inward, to unveil the most incredible grace of God residing in our hearts, a journey of transformation and enlightenment. John 1.16, out of his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. Grace is often thought of as a divine gift, 
a blessing that we receive without earning it. It's like the warmth of the sun that touches everyone, regardless of who they are. This grace is not just around us. It is deeply embedded within us. Every breath we take, every beat of our heart is a testament to this grace. Recognizing this is the first step towards a profound realization. We are more than just flesh and bones. We are embodiments of divine love and grace. To discover God's grace within ourselves is not a physical voyage but an inward exploration. It begins with self-reflection, understanding our thoughts, emotions, and actions. It's like peeling the layers of an onion. With each layer, we come closer to our true selves. This journey is about understanding our strengths, weaknesses, joys, and sorrows, and realizing that each of these is a brushstroke in the beautiful painting of our life guided by God's hand. In this journey, we encounter obstacles, doubts, and fears. These are not roadblocks, but stepping stones, opportunities to grow and strengthen our faith, like a seed that must break through the soil to reach the sunlight. We too must break through our challenges to experience the fullness of God's grace. Every struggle is a chance to learn, to rise, and to shine brighter. Living in grace is about recognizing God in everyday life. It's about seeing the beauty and simplicity, the strength and kindness, and the wisdom and silence. It means being grateful for the blessings we have and being a blessing to others. When we live in grace, we become instruments of God's love, channels through which His grace flows into the world. It's a life of purpose, peace, and joy, a life where every moment is a celebration of the divine spark with us. Spin us. Psalm 147.3 We are healed by grace. God fixes our broken hearts and heals our pain even when we don't deserve it. The incredible grace of God is a profound and deeply personal experience. It's like a gentle yet powerful force, always present, guiding and uplifting us in the most unexpected ways. This grace isn't just a concept. It's a living, breathing presence that touches every aspect of our lives. I have found that God's grace is most apparent during times of struggle, when things seem bleak and hope is a faint glimmer. This grace shines like a beacon, guiding us back to the path of light and love. It's in these moments that I realize the strength of God's grace isn't in changing our circumstances immediately, but in changing us from within, making us stronger more compassionate and resilient. God's grace is like an artist's brush, painting our lives with strokes of mercy and splashes of love. Each experience, whether joyous or challenging, is a testament to this grace. It's not just about the big moments. It's also about the minor, everyday occurrences, a kind word from a stranger, a beautiful sunset, or a moment of quiet reflection. In essence, the grace of God is a journey of continuous discovery, an invitation to explore the depths of divine love and mercy. It's about finding beauty in imperfection, strength in vulnerability, and joy in every step of our journey. This grace is a constant reminder that we are part of something infinitely beautiful and larger than ourselves. It's a call to live with an open heart, to embrace each moment with faith, and to spread love and kindness. As we conclude this journey, remember that the grace of God within us is a never-ending source of strength, hope, and love. It's a light that never dims, a well that never runs dry as you go about your life. 
Cherish this divine spark with you. Let it guide your steps, enlighten your path, and inspire you to spread love and kindness wherever you go. You are a magnificent creation, a living testimony to God's grace. Embrace it, nurture it, and let it shine forth. In doing so, you not only discover the grace of God within yourself, but also help illuminate the world around you with its radiant glow. Join us as we uplift each other in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you with a heart full of gratitude and awe. Thank you for your endless love and mercy, which you generously pour out on me every day. Despite the countless times I've stumbled and strayed, your grace is sufficient for me. Your forgiveness is always there, vast and unwavering. Thank you for the sacrifice of your Son. Jesus, who bore the weight of my sins on the cross, it's beyond my understanding how such a great act of love could be done for me, but I am eternally grateful. This gift of salvation is the greatest treasure I could ever receive. Lord, in the chaos and noise of the world, help me to remember that your grace is all I need when I feel overwhelmed by my mistakes or the challenges life throws me. Remind me of your sufficiency. Your grace is the anchor in my life, steadying me in every storm. Teach me to walk in the light of your love. Guide my steps and fill my heart with the desire to follow your will. Help me to love others as you have loved me showing compassion, kindness, and understanding. I ask for your wisdom to navigate the complexities of life. Give me the strength to face each day with courage and the peace to end each night with hope in moments of doubt and fear. Remind me that you are always with me and that I am never alone. Lord, I pray for those around me who are hurting, lost or in need. May they experience your love and grace through my actions and words. Use me as a vessel to spread your light in this world. Help me be patient and trust in your timing. Teach me to find joy in the small things and to be content in every situation. Teach me to be a reflection of your love in all that I do. Forgive me when I fall short and guide me back to your path. Keep my heart humble and my spirit willing to learn and grow. May my life be a testament to your unfailing love and grace. You are my rock, my shelter, and my guide. I trust in your plan for my life and look forward to each new day with you by my side. In Jesus' name, amen. If this message blessed you, Remember to subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. Write Amen in the comment section. Like it and share it with others to uplift them in the Lord. God loves you. Don't go anywhere. Watch more inspiring videos next on the screen.